大車。Guruma is a technique where you make your throw by turning your opponent around your leg as an axis. Placing your leg near the lower abdomen of your opponent to use as an axis, you turn him around and throw. Oguruma was one of the favorite techniques of the 10th Dan, Fuso Mifune. He's captured the moment his opponent tries to step forward on his right foot. Ashiguruma. In Ashiguruma, you place your foot on your opponent's knee and throw with that as an axis. It's the same principle as Hizaguruma. Here an Osotogari is followed by Ashiguruma. First you execute Osotogari. When your opponent responds by withdrawing his left foot, you follow with Ashiguruma. Kimata. Here you jump in to make your throw the moment your opponent withdraws his foot and touches the mat. Pull your opponent forward to make him assume Jigotai, or a self-defense position, then jump in and apply Uchimata just as he raises himself. This is a method generally known as Ken Ken Uchimata. You sweep with your left leg to destroy your opponent's balance and throw. First you make a move, as in performing O Uchigari. Then it's transformed into Uchimata. In this situation, the objective is to cause your opponent to open up his legs and lean forward off balance. If your opponent defends himself by going down on one knee, he's still judged to be standing and the Uchimata is recognized. Let's look at some examples of Uchimata.
うちまた返し。In Uchimata Gaishi, when your opponent attacks with Uchimata, you counter by cutting back on his pivotal foot. O Uchigari! Pull your opponent's foot forward, then just as he tries to put his weight on that foot, clip his foot and make him fall. Here the opponent is pulled in close, then clipped the moment he tries to rise up. Here, when the opponent tries to get away by raising his foot, he's pushed forward and cut down off balance. Here, his leg is grabbed as you clip. Ochigaishi is a technique of countering your opponent's Ochigari with an Ochigari of your own. There are two ways of countering. One is to clip the foot that's clipping you, and the other is to clip your opponent's pivotal foot. Here, the opponent's foot is clipped back as he tries to clip you. Here, you counter by clipping both your opponent's attacking foot as well as his pivotal foot at the same time. Dodge your opponent's Ochigari and counter with a twisting motion. This is also Ochigaishi. Use your opponent's force to return the attack by twisting to the right. First dodging your opponent's Ochigari, then throwing and twisting to your left. Ochigari. In Kochigari, you pull your opponent's foot forward, then you clip just as his foot comes down on the mat. In this instance, you cut down on the retreating foot of your opponent. 
Here, Kochigari is performed by pulling the opponent off sideways. And here, you cause your opponent to open his feet wide and clip after subduing his defense. This is a Kochigari. Kochigari applied with good timing. He countered his opponent's uranage with a Kochigari. Japan's Okada has a distinctive style of Kochigari, using his heel to reap his opponent's foot. Hane Goshi Gaeshi. There are two ways of performing Hane Goshi Gaeshi. One is a leg technique, whereby you reap the pivotal foot of your opponent. And another is a hip technique, of pushing up with the hip and twisting before countering. At times, you hold the opponent's waist and reap your opponent's pivotal foot. With your hip, you bounce your opponent up in a large motion, then throw, twisting with both hands. When bouncing your opponent with your hip, you may at times simultaneously sweep upwards using your leg. Harai Goshi Gaeshi. In Harai Goshi Gaeshi, you counter by reaping your opponent's pivotal foot for executing Harai Goshi. Just as your opponent attacks with Harai Goshi, you counter by extending your hips, then reap his pivotal foot to make him fall. The technique you use in countering, holding your opponent's hips, is also Harai Goshi Gaeshi. Here the opponent's hips are being held, but as the counter action is reaping his pivotal foot, it's not Ushiro Goshi. Ushiro Goshi is a technique where you raise your opponent up, holding him by the hip and letting him fall. Nage. In Tomoe Nage, you drop backwards while putting a foot on your opponent's lower abdomen and throw him back over your head. Here, the technique is applied just as soon as your opponent steps forward and tries to put his weight on his foot. Here, the opponent is pulled out forward at a slight angle as the technique is applied. This is the way you apply the technique when your opponent is in a right-handed position, making him go off balance on his toes and making him fall to his right as you throw. Here, the throw is made over your head when your opponent is in the right-handed position.
フラ投げ The principle behind this form is to use the force of your opponent as you dodge his striking motion and to throw him, lifting him up on your hip as you sacrifice yourself by falling backward. Here, the opponent's hanegoshi is transformed into an uranage. As the opponent attacks with a hanegoshi, hold his hips and bring him close and throw him directly behind over your shoulder. Another way is to hold and raise your opponent up from the front, then leaning back, throw by sacrificing yourself. Sumigaeshi. You start with both sides grappling in a defensive position. The technique was already in existence in Koryu, one of the older schools of Jiu-Jitsu, and the exact same form has been handed down. In the present day Dandori, we do not start directly from such a position. In Sumigaeshi, you fall backwards in a self-sacrificing movement. Place the instep of your right foot in the crook of his left knee and lift him up over your head. You pull your opponent forward, grasping his rear collar to execute sumigaeshi. Here it's done by grasping your opponent's rear collar or his back and starts with uchimata. Here it's a quick turn around from the uchimata position, followed on with sumigaeshi. Komigaeshi. In a dandori situation, the throw is often made by pulling your opponent in close, holding his belt at the rear, then by throwing him, falling down in a self-sacrificing motion. The place where your foot is applied varies. There's no set place. This is the method of throwing by falling to your side. In this case, it becomes yokostemiwaza. You pull your opponent's belt at the rear close and throw by falling sideways in a self-sacrificing motion. Tawara Gaishi. In Tawara Gaishi, you hold your opponent from above to pull him close, then throw as you fall face up in a self-sacrificing motion. 
In this situation, your opponent defends himself by leaning forward. This Tawaragaishi follows upon the opponent's Morotegari. When your opponent jumps in close to execute Morotegari, you pull your feet back, drop your hip low to defend yourself, then counter. Ukiwaza. In Ukiwaza, you step sideways on one foot, sacrificing your balance and throw your opponent in the direction of your foot. Around 1883, when the nage no kata form of the throw was established, the technique was performed starting with grappling in the self-defense posture. This is Ukiwaza performed by pulling the opponent forward. This Ukiwaza is performed by stepping in with your right foot when your opponent withdraws his left foot. At times, you might assume an oblique defensive posture after pulling your opponent forward by grasping his rear collar and a sleeve and throw from a self-sacrificing posture. This is a technique of following on from Kataguruma to Ukiwaza. In this technique, as you're sacrificing yourself in making the throw, it is not Kataguruma. Yoko Otoshi. In Yoko Otoshi, you step to one side and throw your opponent directly to one side in a sacrificing motion. Observe the off-balancing to the side and sacrificing motion. Pull your opponent to one side, make him go off-balance then throw, sacrificing yourself. As you can see, in a Yoko Otoshi, off-balancing and throwing are done to the side. Tani Otoshi. In Tani Otoshi, you step behind both legs of your opponent in a sacrificing motion, then throw him down directly behind. If you can push his elbow up, it becomes even more easy to make him go off balance and fall backwards. Here, Kuchiki Daoshi is transformed into Tani Otoshi. On occasions when Kuchiki Daoshi cannot be executed, you might step in, throwing in a self-sacrificing motion. This also is a kind of Tani Otoshi. Here you hold your opponent's right arm under your left arm. You perform Tani Otoshi, sacrificing yourself. Let's look at these three similar techniques. 
In Ukiwaza, you make your opponent lose his balance forward. He's thrown in that direction. In Yokotoshi, you make your opponent lose his balance to the side. He's thrown in that direction. In Taniotoshi, you make your opponent lose his balance backward, and he's thrown in that direction. In Yoko Wakare, you step in with both of your feet next to your opponent's feet, then throw him over your body, sacrificing yourself. The moment your opponent's feet are together, sacrifice yourself and throw him above your body. Here, the opponent's Ogoshi is transformed into a Yoko Wakare. As soon as your opponent attacks with Ogoshi, you open sideways and turn it into a Yoko Wakare. Transforming your opponent's Deashi Harai. When your opponent attacks with Deashi Harai, step up close and sacrificing yourself, throw sideways with a Yoko Wakare. Yoko Wakare can also be performed as Mastemiwaza on the floor. Yoko Gake. When practicing the kata, destroy your opponent's balance in about two and a half steps, then throw, sacrificing yourself. In this technique, it's important to make your opponent go off balance till he's supported only by his toes. You sweep, thrusting powerfully with your sole just underneath your opponent's ankle from the front, then sacrificing yourself, throw him parallel to your body. Because yokogake is extremely difficult to set up, it's hardly ever used in dandori. You sometimes see it used in conjunction with Sasae Tsurikomiyashi in practice. The opponent falls after being thrown in a large whirl. This too is an application of Yokogake. Dakiwakare. In fighting on the mat, if your opponent does not get up, you can raise and hold him up from the side, then twisting, throw over your body. It appears that in the early days of judo, the effect of this technique was allowed even if you were on a mat. However, under the present system of judging, the effect of the throw is no longer recognized. Here, standing fight becomes dakiwakare. When your opponent attacks with an uchimata, you might try catching him from the rear to apply another technique. Then, when he lets down both of his hands and escapes, you can apply dakiwakare. The effect of the technique is recognized in this case. Yoko Kuruma. If you try throwing your opponent with an uranage as he comes at you, he defends himself by twisting. Put your right foot between both his feet at that moment and throw, sacrificing yourself. Here, the opponent's Hanegoshi is turned into this technique.
here's the way to apply it, following on from Kanyo Toshi. The moment your opponent bends forward to defend himself against Tanio Toshi, then you follow with this. Soto Makikomi. In Soto Makikomi, hold your opponent's arm under your arm. Step in close with your hips, then turning, throw him over your body in a wrapping motion. Place your hip close to the opponent to use as an axis in the throw. This is the basic principle of Sotomaki Komi. Placing your hip next to your opponent, but not so deep, and throwing him. This is also Sotomaki Komi. Here's Soto Makikomi, where you first step in with your feet. You can also step sideways, in a large motion, outside your opponent's right foot, to wrap him around. Uchimakikomi. Uchimakikomi is similar to Ippon Seoinage. Grasp your opponent by the arm and twist sideways to wrap him around you. Use your hip as an axis. Twist and throw in a wrapping motion. This is the basis of Uchimakikomi. Here's Uchimaki Tomi, where you step out on your right foot to set it up. Here's Uchimaki Tomi after you've made your opponent retreat. Here you follow on from Ippon Seoinage. The moment your opponent defends himself by turning away, you grasp his neck with an arm and pull, wrapping him around you. We distinguish between Seoi Nage and Uchimaki Komi by whether you carried your opponent on your shoulder or simply wrapped him around you as you controlled his arm. Hanemaki Komi. In Hanemaki Komi, you throw in a wrapping motion as you lift your opponent up with Hanegoshi. There are two methods of executing this throw. The first is to lift up your opponent and wrap him around you as you grasp him by the arm. The second method is to lift your opponent up with Hanegoshi, then wrap him around you. There's a difference in the timing of when you take hold of your opponent's arm. In this case, the opponent's collar has simply been grasped and he's not been wrapped around. This is Hanegoshi, not Hanemakikomi. Harai Makikomi. In 
harai makikomi, you lift your opponent up using harai goshi, then throw, wrapping him around you. There are two ways to throw. In the first method, lift up your opponent and wrap him around you as you grasp him by the arm like this. Another method is to lift your opponent up with harai goshi, then place his arm under yours to wrap him around you. There's a difference in the timing of when you grasp your opponent's arm. Again, in this case, the opponent's collar has simply been grasped and he's not been wrapped around. This is harai goshi, not harai makikomi. And now for a spectacular harai makikomi. Makikomi. Kouchi Makikomi involves grabbing your opponent's legs from the inside and falling to the side to bring him down. Since you bring him down with a sacrificing movement, it's a yoko stemi waza. Rolling over after grabbing your opponent's legs is a variation of Kouchi Makikomi. Let's look at some examples of kochi makikomi in competition. Uchimata makikomi. In uchimata makikomi, you lift your opponent up using uchimata then throw, wrapping him around you. There are two ways to make the throw. The first is to lift up your opponent and wrap him around you as you grasp him by the arm. The second method is to lift your opponent up with uchimata, then wrap him around you and throw. Please observe carefully the timing of grasping the opponent's arm under yours. Soto Makikomi. O Soto Makikomi starts with one of the O Soto Gari family of techniques, followed by either an outer or inner wrap around throw. In the first case, following your opponent's defense of an O Soto Gari, you throw by wrapping him around you in an outward direction. From an osotogari, you lean on your opponent and throw him, wrapping him outwards. The final technique used is sotomakikomi, but as it follows osotogari, the throw is called osotomakikomi.
prohibited techniques. Kani Basami is a technique in which you sandwich your opponent's body between both feet and throw him in a sacrificing movement. Kani Basami is a prohibited technique and, if applied, will result in a Hansokumake. Kawazugake. Since the technique involves falling together with your opponent, it's often dangerous and is therefore prohibited in a tournament. Quite often it's difficult to judge the name of the nangewaza being applied. With more research and development, new techniques may well emerge. However, the name will be chosen from one of the 66 throws, depending on the principle behind the technique used. We hope this video will help you understand the classifications and names of the nangewaza techniques, as well as the basic principles of judo breaking the balance of one's opponent to apply a technique and using his momentum to throw him. <laughs>